Hey there guys, we've been talking a lot about success, but we haven't talked about growth turning into success in any YouTube channel. On today's episode, let's talk about that, but before we do, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and gong that bell. Hey Freedom, what's up? My name is Nolden. welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all freedom content. Like I said a while ago, we will be talking about growth on how to become a really successful YouTuber. On this episode, we will be giving you tips on how to exactly do that. So without further ado guys, welcome to Freedom Quick Tips. Number one is commit to a schedule, hopefully multiple times per week. Like we always say in our previous videos, Content is king. Content is king, scheduling it is the key. Hopefully you will be able to put up content every week, but if you still can't do it, it's fine. Put in your best videos per week so that your audience will be viewing your videos every time. Number two is developing a sustainable video production. What does this mean? Well, to have a sustainable video production means that you will need to make things happen every day. Sustainable means you can make videos about a topic and have millions of ideas that you can talk about. You have to think about the equipment as well. Will you be renting them out? Do you own them? If you rent them out, can you keep up with the rent? Or maybe the set. Do you need to always go to a place to shoot your videos? You gotta factor in your expenses so that you will know that you can sustain the project or the videos that you are creating. Number three, hook your audience in the first few seconds. When you begin a video, always have a hook for your video. A hook is something that will keep your audience inside the video. Your videos will be the most important part of your YouTube channel. You have to offer them something that will keep them watching, but also you have to give them the satisfaction that you offer in your videos. Number four, intros and credits should be short. Intros and credits are dandy and nice, but don't make it too long. One to five seconds of intro is good, but if one third of your video is just pure introduction or credits, then it might be time to change them or shorten them out. The main focus of your video should be your content, not your introduction. That will be the least of your worry, because you'll need to do your introductions though to make things interesting. Number five, end screens should be used to promote your channel, your videos, or your website. When your audience are finished watching with your videos, you will want them to browse your previous episodes and let them continue watching your channel. How can you do that? Well, here's how you can do it. End cards are your heroes. You can include your videos, your channel, and website if you have one. Always make sure your audience is interested in your content because if they are, end screens will be the ones who will continue their journey into your channel and to your videos. Hence, more watch time hours and more people viewing your videos. Number six is leave out distractions in your videos. I'm guilty about this, guys. I have a lot of outtakes when I'm creating videos. I have like 20 minutes of fluff because I always stutter. I have long pauses and a lot more. I cut out all of the distractions so that it won't be boring and distracting. Also, if you have things in the background that distracts people like the lights you have or maybe a flipped up computer that shows a different video and other things, you will need to remove everything that will distract people from watching your videos because if they do get distracted, chances are the message that you want to impart to your audience in your videos will not go through to them. Number seven, design good quality visuals like your thumbnails. Always make great quality content because your visuals will be your vanguard. Your first ever line of attraction because your visuals will be the ones to hook them initially. You have to relate to your audience what your content is all about. Your thumbnail must be able to explain what your videos are going to be like. Never ever make visuals that will mislead your audience. If you do that, that will kill your channel and we don't want that to happen. Number eight, create longer videos. Longer video is a better video in general because it will help you have that watch time up. Also, if your videos offer more time, it will help you get more ads in it. Usually, the best duration of the video is 8 minutes to 10 minutes long. And that's the episode of Freedom. Let us know down below if you have other tips for us about growth on how to become a very successful YouTuber. Share this to a friend who's just starting out on YouTube so that you can help them out in the long run. Before you leave, guys, please leave a like, subscribe, and gong that bell. My name is Nold, guys, bringing you tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember, Freedom, quick tips. I'm going to be seeing you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.